the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 27th day of September being Wednesday, and with 25 non time of church calendar year one. Today, the mother church celebrates St. Vincent de Paul. He's a priest. I read this will be coming from the book of Ezra, chapter 9, verse 5 to 9. A response of sound will come from Toby chapter 13, verse 1b. A gospel message will come from Luke gospel chapter 9, verse 1 to 6. The theme of our message today is that God did not forsake us in our bondage. God never forsakes us in our bondage. Yes. In most cases, we are in trouble because we caused it. Because we separated ourselves from God. We disobeyed God. And allowed us to play into the hand of our enemies. Yes, because if God with us, no person can be against us. But when you yourself separate yourself from God, by disobedience to God, then you draw down causes upon yourself. Your enemies will overtake you. And that was the experience of our lives. So most trouble we find ourselves in trouble we cause ourselves by disobedience to God. By separating ourselves from the grace of God. So in the midst of that bondage, God never abandons us. And that's why Matthew 11, 28 to 30, say, all of you over labor and burden, come to me and I will give you rest. Yes, come to me and I will give you rest. We're in trouble. With this uh, come to our aid. And that's why today in the gospel message, you can see Jesus giving power to the disciples, his apostles, to cure all sicknesses, to cast all demons, give them power and authority over demons and all diseases and infirmities. So he still takes care of the people in bondage. People who are in trouble, he takes care of them. So he never abandons us. That's why he sent the apostles to take care of them. He said, as you go, preach the kingdom of God to them and heal them. And that's what the apostles went about doing, preaching the kingdom of God, the gospel message, and healing the people who are sick. And the people who are in bondage, possessed by demons. He never abandons us. He still made provision for us. Even though we struggle to separate ourselves from him, he still cares for us in our distress. In our pains. And that's the experience of the Israelites today when they're in exile. And now what the book of Ezra is telling all of us. That they have sinned against God, read from their fathers, they have been offending him. Their iniquities have towered above their heads. And God has sent them, allowed them to go into exile by taking over by kings of the na- war, nations. And are slaves in different parts of the world. But in the midst of this bondage, God never forsake them. He made provision for them today that they were the remnants who were sent back to, or allowed to go back to Jerusalem and to rebuild the temple of God. And got the protection of God there. When they were in bondage, because he take care of us. He never abandons us. He's always near us, making us to come back to him. And making provision that we are not switched off at that period. He cares for us. So he never abandons us. So never think that God will abandon you. I always say, even if everything, if they told us, even if a woman forgets, can a woman forget the child he bears, he fears, her sucking child, can he? He said, even if the child, the mother forgets the child, he himself will not forget us. So he never forsake us. God never forsake us. He's always near us. And now what the psalmist, some 
23 says, even walk in the ocean of darkness, he's there with his shield and here to protect us. So God never abandons us in our bondage. He still thinks about us. He never cares of us. And he did the Israelites today. When they were in Asia, they were allowed to go back and giving gifts to go and build the temple of God when they were in bondage. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today, this year, look at what he said. Blessed, be the, blessed is the God who lives forever. Blessed is the God who lives forever. Yes. He's living forever. He cannot abandon his own. He's there, caring for his people. Now why he makes provision to care for the people who are in bondage, who are sick, who are possessed by demons. And now why they were celebrated Vincent de Paul. Vincent de Paul was born in France. And became a priest, but solely interested in caring for the poor and formation of priests. And because of this zeal for this job, and he was doing it so passionately, he created, he founded the Vicentians to continue the work of formation of priests. And he formed, he founded the Daughters of Charity to care for the poor. So the two congregations he set up, both men and few, was to care for the poor and to f about formation of priests and young people. Do you see caring for people who are in bondage? Caring for priests who are in trouble? Caring for the poor who are hungry? Want to take care of them, manage them? So God never abandons us in in our bondage, in our trouble, God makes provision to care for us. May God help us understand today that God cares for us, even in face of our bondage, even of separating ourselves from him. He's there still thinking about us, never abandons us. May we understand this message today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the God who never abandoned his people, even in their bondage. And of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.